I also need to mention, by the way, that Andrea is so damn hilarious. Way funnier, so much fitter, and you know what? Now it's all about the time. It's all about the time. Seven seconds left. Kota can do it. Kota can swindle his way. Kota can swindle his way out of this game. Just by pre-moving and making quick moves. I, I have faith in Kota. <laughs> it's battle time. It's battle time. Exciting. Exciting. We've been streaming together with Alex for two years by now. And we're gonna keep doing it because we like each other's company a lot and hanging out even through streams if we can't meet in person well we we do want to stick to our streams as much as we can when we have the time for it we're gonna be nailing it today and i'm pretty sure that in case we win we already know what we want to ask from alex right am i right <laughs> i think you guys already have something in mind as punishment in case we win like, I don't wanna I don't wanna claim victory before it's due but I think there's something pending from Alex's side that that we would want to ask for what do you guys think do you want to determine the stakes before we get started I think from our end it's very clear what we would like so um, I can I can I can reveal what my community would love the most and maybe your community could think of something for me in case in the you unlikely have to roast case me for two minutes <laughs> oh no this cannot happen guys there's a lot of pressure today we need to win this this cannot happen um but in case we do win we would like an apology for the apology miss botez it's all about yeast can. That sounds great. Hashtag with the white pieces. I'm going to be commentating on the game now. Hashtag is doing a great job, as I was saying, developing their pieces. And, and, free stuff. Yes. Da -da, da -da. Free stuff. Free stuff. That, that was, that was beautiful. I need to, I need to slow more replay. This horsey captured pawn, captured turg on d4. Horsey captures horsey, bishop captures horsey, queen captures horsey. We end up having one horsey on the board. Opponent has no horsey. We are a horsey up. Free stuff! We love free stuff. Hashtag loves free stuff too. I'm so proud of him. And now he goes with the horsey, jumping into the position. Beautifully done. Extra horsey, dancing all over the black squares, all over these vulnerable spots. In black's position those dark squares are weak because of the pawn structure of black and also extra horsey and now extra rook free stuff again more free stuff free stuff and thank you so much for the cheers free stuffs free stuffs it is wow we have now an extra rook a rook up for hashtag amazing amazing stuff <sighs> <sighs> Getting closer and closer to that yeasty boy apology that we so badly need. We so badly need it. Very good job there. Amazing stuff. Amazing. Channel your inner yeast can because it's all about yeasty boy. It's all about the apology that we so, so need for our souls. So, guys, bear that in mind when you play it. You want to give your best for yeast can. This is all about yeast can. Goodwill Hunting, Robin Williams. Yeah, that's a really good movie, but the position is even better. We are, we are. Oh, my name is reversed. See, I did, <laughs> okay, I now I know what I did. I was trying to, thank you for letting me know, and do tell me if I mess up something else. I know I'm missing my music still, and it's my name tag. I was gonna try to flip the camera, but it flipped, it flipped my name. Amazing. Where's my camera? Oh, I found it. Let's try to to flip my camera this time. Okay, so if I look this way, no, wait, did it do anything? No, <laughs> this is not the right way. One more time, I need to be looking at the board. Wait, <laughs> okay, finally, we've got this. <gasps> it's gonna be checkmate. <laughs> we are this close to checkmate. Yes! Hashtag for the win! First point for the tomatoes. Beautifully done, as we learned it, the rook producing the ring of fire and the queen burning the king the king has nowhere to go it's check cannot step onto the seventh rank because of the rook has nowhere to hide 
Beautifully done. Well done. Hashtag amazing. Our first point. If you haven't heard me, Yasser and Peter during the Chessable broadcast talking about the Checkmate Patterns Manual, which recently came out on Chessable, that's with the over 10 hour of video instructions of John Bartholomew, but originally the Checkmate Patterns was the creation of Crafty. So huge shout out to Crafty for that massive work of art collecting all the possible checkmates. So if you want to learn checkmates, checkmate patterns on chessable, there are also videos of some of the top chess players in the world solving the checkmate patterns and that's on YouTube. So if you look for the chessable YouTube channel, checkmate patterns, there you have Hikaru, Anish and all the rest of the crew, including the world champion Magnus Carlsen solving the checkmates. So we, we will now learn more about the names. Thank you so much Crafty for that. This is a very solid setup by Milan. I like it because um, uh, it's solid. <laughs> Normally I like it when we have more space. So the only issue with black setup, it's very solid and safe. It's like a little bunker, but it's also very crowded in here. That's why it's a good idea to play this move, horsey, horsey going to f6, because you want to trade pieces the less pieces you need to squeeze into a tiny room, the easier it gets. So we are trading that horse in. We were attacking the bishop. That was a really good move as well. And now we are activating our pieces. Suddenly our position is much more promising. Luckily, the opponent doesn't collect free stuff because this pawn was about to be hanging, but it didn't happen. So it blink, just blink. Um, blinking about the music too. I, I closed it without wanting to. I need to turn on the lo-fi background music expanding now on the queen side that makes sense um white is trading the bishop for our horsey horsey bye bye horsey goes bye bye this horse is strong this is a little annoying that uh, if we compare these two minor pieces white horsey please don't play that move that i don't want to see uh, there's a move that i really don't want to see so i hope it will not be played um still it's a possibility so i'm not even gonna say it <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Um, oh, okay. This is an annoying move because horsey attacks queen and rook at the same time. It's a fork. Remember, remember, remember the utensils. But uh, it's not too bad. So we're gonna be losing a rook for the horsey. Remember how much is the value of the horsey? How much is the value of the rook? So the rook is five points or five pawns. Horse is three. We lost their two points in this transaction but it's not the end of the world because that horsey was a strong horsey and now the music will be very loud give me a second give me a second <laughs> so it's it's not too bad um, it's called an exchange op so when you get a rook for a minor piece white has an exchange up um, now this pawn is gone as well which is a Bit of a pity, but I do see Milan's idea. If this bishop could land here, it's not easy to to make that happen. But if it if it's gonna happen somehow, if we can place our bishop on this diagonal, then we could see another mate on g2. Uh, so let's see. Um, I don't think. Okay, <laughs> I shouldn't have said. I I jinxed it. I was gonna say I don't think Milan will want to trade queens because we are an exchange down, but. We did trade it. It's okay. Um, this position can still be tricky. The bishop... Please, 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 please. Almost, almost. <laughs> no. <laughs> we were so close to making the right bishop move. We've just lost our rook. But if Milan... He had the right idea. If Milan had moved the bishop... Uh, not here, but the other direction. Then the rook of ours cannot be captured because this is pinned. This is called a pin. The bishop is pinning the rook because if you want to lift up the rook, the king would be in check behind it and that's illegal. So white cannot move the rook, which means that we would have taken the rook next move. It, it didn't happen, unfortunately, but it's okay. It, it wasn't that simple to see. Milan had the right idea, but from the wrong square. And now we are trying to deal with those two rooks. It's one bishop versus two rooks of uh, the bishop was hanging um it's it's okay we can still win on time yes we can still win on time flagging skills flagging skills is what we need flagging skills flagging skills 
Um, flagging at chess refers to when you win on time. So to get flagged is when you lose on time. Um, it's related to the word flag because originally we would play on analog clocks. Imagine just like a normal clock in the living room, but it has two sides. I will show you a picture one day um, or when we have downtime, I will show you a photo. But those clocks would have an actual tiny flag. So when when the the arm of the clock would start would get close to 12 and and the time is up, the flag would literally fall. That's why it's related to flagging. Um, the flag, the word flag, I mean. Uh, a bishop is gone, uh, that's pity, uh, free stuff, but uh, maybe we could still uh, be lucky and win on time, uh, get stalemated. <laughs> stalemated. Um, okay, this is gonna be made in a few moves, but only 12 seconds left for Jackie, only 12. This is very close to be made, 10 seconds left for Jackie. Let's see those flagging skills, flagging, please. Crafty, I'm afraid this mate will have a name. Oh, what's the name of this mate, Crafty? It's a pretty one. This, as a kid, this was one of my favorite mates. You have two rooks. Two rooks with the ring of fire and the queen burning the king. So it has nowhere to go. It was a, a difficult game. From the moment the horsey jumped to d7, White won material and white was ahead in the whole game. Except for that one line, one tiny moment in time when there was this bishop move. So I'm gonna show it to Milan just to learn. But other than that, white was doing very well in this game. And even if even if Milan finds this move to pin the rook, white can still protect it. So it would have only been an exchange. And white is still um, two pawns up. So even this position is better for white. White was doing very well in this game. Now, Alex may have committed a few crimes against the East Kent, so if we win today, the punishment for Alex will be to apologize for the apology she made the other day toward the East Kent. That's at stake. Uh, I think that that's a lot of pressure, but at the same time also highly motivating our team. Quark here with the white pieces is representing Team Tomato. Team Tomato doing very well. This rook is very active. Quark is now activating the bishop as well. I think this is the Estonian flag, am I correct? Estonia. Amazing to see how multicultural our community is and free stuff! Did you guys see that? Slow mo, slow mo. Horsey goes side. Bishop takes bishop. Free stuff, free stuff. We love our free stuff here. We love our free stuff. That's amazing. Now we are, we are a bishop up. So we have two horses each, but we have an extra bishop. We are about to collect this pawn as well. Very nicely done. Free stuff. Free stuff, now that's a free pawn. We are threatening to give this check. So black develops the rook, wants to trade the rooks. But in case of that trade or this trade, this is nice to do a horsey check. And now we are taking, Turk takes d5. That's another very, very important move at chess. Turk takes d5. We are a piece up, piece up meaning a minor piece. So when you say you're a piece up, it means you are a horsey up or you're a bishop up. And uh, this is an end game that should be easy for quark to convert the only issue can be is that white has less time so you see that there's there's uh, the time ticking down next to quark's name we have a minute and 23 seconds uh, steven has a minute and 47 seconds so a bit more time than us a bit more time but we can do it we can do it okay the king is trying to get close which is good his majesty is obviously the objective of the game so most of the time during chess, you want to protect the king. But at the final stage of the battle, when there are only a few pieces left on the board, the king becomes the protagonist in a sense that it wants to take the spotlight and be active. So you want to go and march ahead with your king. And that's what I think Quark is doing now. Quark can, okay, first going with the horsey, but also the king can start getting closer to, to Black's position. But this is a free pawn. This could be another free pawn. And this is a passed pawn. We call pawns like this a passed pawn because it has no one in front of them. And when the pawn reaches the other side of the war, you know what happens. When Turg reaches the other side of the war, it becomes a queen. It becomes queen queen. So um, now we have Kevin on the board. Um, very powerful piece at chess. Kevin, the queen himself. 
The only thing we should be a little worried about is stalemate. Stalemate is when the opponent cannot make a move, but is also not in check. So the objective of the game is to give checkmate to the king. We want to give checkmate, not stalemate. But this is this is great because this pawn can also become a queen. We can have as many queens as we want. You start with one on the board, but if you promote all your pawns, that's going to be how many queens? <laughs> how many queens is the maximum, guys? Who can add up those numbers? We start with one queen on the board. How many pawns are there? What? No! No, 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 no. No, we have two queens. <sighs> okay, so this is this is the only thing that was unfortunately on the cards as a possibility to not win. So we have two queens. <laughs> the maximum is nine, by the way. Yes, very good job, very good job. Maximum nine queens, but we have two queens, so this is a winning. But the queens are so powerful that they are taking away every possible square from the black king and our king is taking away these squares so all the squares around the black king are controlled by white pieces and it is black to move so it's stalemate if your opponent has zero legal moves with any piece so obviously if black had five other pieces and they can move that's not stalemate so it's not only about the king but it's if your opponent cannot move any piece and is not in check and it's a stalemate and the points are split. It's half a point for both players. If it was that you cannot move, but you are in check, that's checkmate. That's the goal of the game. So try try to be careful about stalemate, but Quirk, you played so well. Alex and I don't play against each other. We played back then once or twice, but we don't really enjoy playing against each other. We, we prefer to be the captains of our amazing teams instead of fighting against each other. And if we play different formats, we always team up. We like to team up against other creators or viewers, subscribers, because we do play hand and brain as well, sometimes against our subscribers. This is great. That horsey move, I like it. I like it because it was attacking Turg on E3, but white played, you know what? Turg to E4. Very powerful move, Turg to E4. Now the pawn is not hanging anymore. Um, because there's loads, loads of protection for Turgon E4. All the white pieces are focusing on that pawn. But it's okay, this knight is nicely placed on G4. There can be tricks and attacks related to that. Wait a second. Oh, I was praising that move. Well, it saved this pawn, but it blundered the other one. So it wasn't actually a good move. Very well spotted Shady Baby. I wasn't even looking at the other pawn, but Shady Baby did realize. Th this this was our target. That Turg moved one square up, but the other Turg lost its protection from the pawn on e3, and now it's gone. Free pawn, free stuff. Oh, horsey jumping here, attacking the queen. Let's see what's gonna happen next. I like this. I like this. Mm -hmm. Jobless, that could be an idea, yeah. I, I know that they recently started streaming together. Anish had a very popular contentless channel during the Chess of Masters, but now he he's, he's very active on that formerly contentless YouTube channel. And he does live stream, I think, daily? Isn't that daily? Since the event finished, he played the finals against Magnus. It was epic. I will have a video coming up by um, about that, by the way, the Chessable Masters and some of my favorite moments from the broadcast, highlights from the broadcast. But yes, um, I think that, that could be fun. I haven't talked to Anisha about it yet, but I know that they were brainstorming ideas with Taymor and Vidit and uh, we'll see. We'll see what they come up with. Shady Baby is doing amazing. This horsey is a beast. That's an octopus. It's not supported by a pawn, but the bishop is doing a very similar job and the rook. We just need to make sure we don't play the Bottas Gambit. Bottas Gambit, if anyone hasn't heard, is when you blunder your queen. You don't want to blunder your queen because that's a very important piece. You also don't really want to give up your rook. Oh, that was tricky. This move attacked seemingly this rook but that's protected it does attack the other one that's free stuff this is a good move normally 
because it attacks two rooks at the same time, but Arvan is hanging as well, and now the bishop too. Oh, this is this is oh oh no! And now we come back, and the bishop is lost. Oh no! Shade baby must have realized that they made a mistake with that knight jump to c2, and then it happens so often at chess. Even if the mistake wouldn't be that big, but because you think about how you've just made a mistake, you collapse psychologically and you make a bigger mistake the next move because you just can't. It feels terrible when you make a mistake and when you notice that you made a mistake. So now it's it's a rook and a piece down and we don't have time. Uh, things are looking a little, little difficult, but we can hope for stalemate. We can hope for stalemate, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, there are too many pieces still. We have a couple of pawns. <laughs> we'll need to get rid of the pawns and then pray. This is gonna be mate. Next move. Oh, well. That Peppa said is not sad anymore. Well played by Adim in the end. With that queen c6 attacking the rook. But until then, Shady Baby, you play such a good game. Taking the free pawn, the free turg on f4, horsey on e3, really powerful piece. It was just this one mistake. You only made one mistake here. That you didn't notice that the rook was hanging. It's really a pity. I'll, I'll go back to that moment for a second. Because you are doing so well. Extra pawn. But you forgot that this queen was not only pointing at the rook on AA but also this rook it's really a pity it's really a pity but we can we can still make a comeback the this is this is just the beginning of the match and shady baby you played really well okay we've got this we've got this guys we just need a mild comeback it's uh, two and a half one and a half at the moment very close match very close match but most of the matches are still to come most of the games are still to be played so okay um i'll do the white pieces here and the chess bra the chess bra icon here that's okay that's okay i mean you can use the anna flare as well but it's okay you chose of chess bra <laughs> no that's fine of course the chess bras have a huge community as well supporting them and Alge, if you've been training with Eric and Damon and Yasser then you're on the right path gaining space on the queen side I like that now protecting the pawn Turk protected good job good job now we um we are slightly trailing behind uh, two and a half one and a half the score at the moment in favor of team Bottas but it was just a misstep we, we were doing very well in the games, but we got a little unlucky with a blunder or two. Other than that, the team is doing brilliant. So master strategy, beautifully executed ideas. Just sometimes with blunders, blunder in chess is when you make a big mistake that loses materials or blunder a checkmate would mean that you, you had an oversight and you didn't see that you're getting checkmated. So those bigger mistakes sometimes happen. Anyone can anyone can fall into them, but it's not a common thing. Our team is very strong. We've got this. We've got this under control. Here, Elge one four two with the white pieces playing for the tomatoes has more space. It's good to have more space. I'm telling you guys, it's just like in a room. If you want to invite fifty people over to your house party and you have just one tiny bedroom, it may not work. But if you have bigger space a nice big living room you may you may be able to accommodate more friends once there's no social distancing and all the things about the lockdown so in the past it was possible um this position i like horses in the center this horse is being pinned so we need to be a bit careful but now the queen nicely done queen is still protecting horsey and is attacking the opponent's horsey this horsey cannot go anywhere because that would be an illegal move so once again this is called a pin the queen is pinning the knight if you lift up the knight the black king is in check that's illegal so you cannot move the knight nicely done oh current paul how do you think we are doing oh that's that's just how awesome and wholesome this community is thank you for that paul thank you 
Yes, even Magnus, the world champion, blundered a piece OTB over the board. Is OTB. So yes, definitely, it can happen to anybody. Happens to anybody. But uh, it's not gonna happen to Elgin this game. It may happen to their opponent. The polls never lie. Ah. Uh, no one is telling anyone what to play. Sometimes we do draw arrows. So I was e I was explaining to the pin and such. That's to make it more instructive for the viewers. But. Uh, just because we would draw sometimes it doesn't mean that it gives away a move and there's a delay between when we say something and when the game is being played so the viewers when you hear it it's already not an option as a player you literally cannot be listening to us you would be losing a lot of time just waiting because of the delay so there's absolutely no no possibility of doing that what is possible is that this horse will go bye bye because it's still pinned, Alge is doing so well. Alge, I'm so proud of you. Horsey is pinned. Other horsey attacked by the bishop. And Alge wants to, I think, I think he will play that move. Yes, Alge wants to eliminate this horsey to then win the other one. Nicely done. Free stuff. We have a free horsey. Horsey up. Free stuffs. Free stuffs. And also more time. More time, more pieces. Life is great. Life is great. <laughs> And the pause never lie, indeed. We are doing very well. We are doing very well. We're gonna we're gonna tie the score with this game. And then from then on, just going for that apology of the apology for yeast can. We're gonna win this sub battle. I have full faith in the tomatoes. Only 18 seconds left for lighting, and uh, we are a bishop up. Bishop up. The scary center pawn has been eliminated. Now there's no more pawns there. This is a bit scary if it becomes a pass pawn, but we have way more time and still an extra bishop. So white is doing very well. Nicely done attacking the rook to chase away the rook from the pawn's protection and everything is under control. Nicely done. Nicely done. Only 13 seconds left for lighting. 30 seconds for Elge. we can do this we've got this only seven seconds left for alexandra's team player and we are still enjoying our extra piece and the pass pawn turg is about to become queen turg is about there are two turgs now two turgs marching together two turgs there we go and now the king as well see how active the king can be in an end game end game is the final stage of the game and we won on time but also the position is winning extra bishop two turgs going for promotion nicely done elge tying the score for team tomatoes very good job very good job i'm so proud of you this was a nice end game very well executed but it all started out from a brilliant idea in the middle game pinning the horsey that was crucial this is the piece that was lost and elge had it planned from this stage move 21 Elch played queen b3 and then kept on insisting on that pin and six moves later he won the piece horsey bye bye very good job nicely done nicely done easy win for team and Elch. congratulations you've done amazing jameson with the white pieces very very nice whiskey brand in ireland i must say but hermina hermina is great i've always i've always liked hermina a lot when I read the Harry Potter books. So obviously having Hermione on the team is is just the additional boost we needed. In a moment where it's two and a half, two and a half, the score is tied. At the moment, it's a tie. After this game, I think we're gonna take the lead. This opening is called the dragon. We've just taken a Turg on E4. Turg on E4 is gone, I like that. Developing the bishop, very nicely played. Um, so we could have taken more Turks, but we didn't. I think Hermione prefers developing their pieces. And now um, I'm a little scared, but hopefully Hermione... I'm very scared. Uh, okay, that, that's a problem. Uh, 
the thing is so white was very sneaky because this move it looks like white is pointing at this turg on a7 but that's not the big deal the big deal is that this rook behind the bishop is ready to attack when you lift up this bishop the rook will be attacking the queen this is called a discovered attack and that's why white won the horsey horsey goes bye bye we don't have time to take the bishop because our queen is in the air that's how discovered attacks work so now we are a horsey down but we are attacking i i, I still think we have chances here because there's attack against the white king on the queen side we, we do have chances here to strike back uh, a pity about this check though very very well spotted by jameson taking the pawn i hit my hopes about that pawn attacking on the queen side but now it's gonna be tough oh no queen trade um i was gonna say but what if we have more time we don't have more time we can do this hermina hermina can make a miraculous comeback some kind of a magic we need but we can do it we can do it with a bit of magic just a bit of magic okay so we are a bishop down but now we are attacking through the b file which was protected um unfortunately white is playing very well this game spotting all the threats of her minor a tough a tough game um kota no there's no pressure on you no no one no one is in in a must win situation this is just one of the many games and i thank you so much for the raid thank you for coming over to our channel here's a fellow anna from anna to anna hello hope you had a great stream anna maya i was watching earlier anna maya's commentary i was watching nicola playing against alessia and anna maya was the commentator of the match you did a great job anna maya broadcasting the adoption match of nicola i thought i thought that your commentary was insightful and entertaining at the same time and that's just that's just the perfect mix for commentary thank you so much for coming over hope you had a great stream we are playing against team botas miss alexandra botas i can show you is on the other end of the call but we are ah! <laughs> look at that reaction i clicked i clicked on her camera in the right moment we are squad streaming so you can you can click on the squad stream button and be in both chats hear both commentary we are covering our perspective of the match this is at the moment two and a half two and a half Hermione is fighting really hard to you know, make up for that piece that was earlier lost. We are a bishop down in this endgame. Oh, we have hopes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We do have some hopes. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. I think white has... White, white has ruined it. Yes, 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 yes. We did it! We did it! We are making a comeback. Okay, we don't have much time. 30 seconds left. But we took the rook. We took the rook. We were a bishop down. We took the rook. Now it's an exchange out for black. <sighs> I need to breathe. I need to breathe. I need to remember how to breathe. Oh, this pawn is too strong. Oh, but the king is coming back. Yes, the king is coming back just in time. Okay, it. I think... Yeah, this was key. We need to stop this pawn because that's about to turn into a queen my music is stopping because this is such a tense moment but we can also try to make a pass pawn. that's what black is doing oh the music constantly is stopping um we can also take this or this yes yes <gasps> we took the bishop and white didn't even white was pre-moving so now we are a rook up well we are a rook up nine seconds left for her minor nine seconds nine seconds take all the paws just take Take all the pawns. If we take the final pawn, it's gonna be a draw. Take the pawn. Take the pawn. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now that was that was very good thinking by Hermione. Because even though a rook is more valuable than a pawn, we only had five seconds. And if you are not used to playing quick, and there's no increment, we don't have increment. This is what you have to do. If you don't want to lose on time, you don't want to get flagged then you should eliminate all the pieces of the opponent because then it's a draw even if you run out, run out of time um in this case in this case it's a draw because there's only two kings left on the board it's an automatic draw game is over but that was an a brilliant save hermina hermina playing most of the game with the bishop down we, we had an end game an end game where white has an extra bishop 
extra bishop and a passed pawn. This was insane. Hermina, you're a hero. You're a hero. This is... I don't know how you did it. You swindled your way through the game. And these attacks against the rook. That, that was crucial. This rook I meant. In the final position, white couldn't... Well, final. One of the final ones. White couldn't place the king here to protect the rook. Because there comes a check from here. And the rook will be lost next move. So you have created a scenario where you are winning the rook insane insane kota has just started e4 a6 turk to e4 kota has played turk to e4 <laughs> turk to e4 was the opening choice of kota and his opponent played a6 which is a dubious move that's that's dubious it's playable but not really recommendable for beginners because you usually should try to fight for the center that's the most important part of the board as we know i mean it's it's playable if nikons knows the plans and he, i think he does because he did play b5 and bishop b7 and c5 so yeah now it has transposed to a sicilian a sicilian defense but in any case kota is playing very well pushing turk to e5 attacking the horsey Nicely done. Now bishop goes and develops. Attacking the queen. Hope for a botus gambit. Hope for a botus gambit. Botus gambit was not played. But this move does weaken the king. So Kota has achieved something. Now we should just take care of business by not giving up free stuff. <laughs> yeah, of course Kota does not offer the bishop for free. This king is gonna be a target very soon. Very soon. I'm confident this is gonna be this is gonna be the turning point in the match. Wait a second, Vila is playing on our team again. I didn't realize. <laughs> I hope that's allowed. <laughs> I just realized that after Kota, next up is Vila, um, who is an MVP on our team, but he also is part of Alexandra's actual team. He's working for Alex. Uh, which of course doesn't stop him from winning points for us, but he might upset her. He might upset his boss <laughs> in case he wins. But for now, it's Kota's time to shine with that horsey jump. The pawn is pinned, so if the horsey was accepted, we were gonna take the queen. Horsey jumped here. Um, this is uh, a tricky position. Things are hanging. This is tricky, but we are about to give this check. So black plays h5. Kota's idea was earlier with this horsey move to bring the queen over here and attack the king. That would have been mate in a few moves possibly. Well, the king can walk out, but still, that looks like a disaster. So now with this bishop maneuver, we are about to trade this powerful bishop and then chase this knight away. The knight was hanging and the rook was hanging. That's why... Black played knight to d5. Horsey jumping back to d5. It would have been mate on, on h5 after capturing the knight. Very true, crafty. Very true. Horsey with the very powerful attack. Rook is hanging and this king, I'm telling you, is very, very close to getting into trouble because this pawn is depending on the rook. Okay, the rook comes to h6 to attack the knight and still hold on to the pawn we can either come back with the horsey or take the bishop after which black is now not able to castle ever ever Hermina, yes indeed i was just saying earlier that crafty is the author of the checkmate patterns we were talking about the checkmate patterns manual during the chessable masters which is the biggest mate collection so if you want to know all the checkmates that are possible to give and so important to know how to give checkmate in chess the checkmate patterns manual on chessable is the original course of crafty ref and has been revamped with john bartholomew's edition of videos and exercises so now it's team crafty and john with the full checkmate patterns manual a thousand trainable variations and if you want to see what the top players in the world are capable of in terms of checkmates they did the checkmate test and it's all on the channel the youtube channel of chessable how the top players all of the participants of the chessable masters were solving 
the final test from the checkmate patterns. We are doing very well. This horse is untouchable because the pawn is pinned. Um, it's just a little tricky here, but I like h4. That's a very good move. Protecting the bishop and cutting this g5 so that our king is safe. This king is not safe. It's still not that simple to get to the king, but I like this check a lot. The horse is very nicely placed on d6. Kota is down to 24 seconds though. Kota has to hurry up. He needs to speed up because there's no increment. Only 24 seconds left. Okay, uh, we, got, we are taking out this rook, but 20 seconds. Okay, uh, this is gonna go down to the final seconds of Kota. 15 seconds. Kota, please don't flag. Please don't flag. Please don't flag. Um, please don't. 13 seconds. We have a really good position. Okay, now our rook is gone. And oh no, Kota was pre moving. Oh no, because of the time pressure, Kota was pre moving. Um, anyway, it's still, well, 8 seconds. Um, they're both down to their final seconds. We have lost our queen on the way. White was doing better before, but now it's all about the time. It's all about the time. 7 seconds left. Kota can do it. Kota can swindle his way. Kota can swindle his way out of this game just by pre moving and making quick moves. I. I have faith in Kota. Less time, but we can... Oh, the queen was hanging. Oh, man, this is so difficult with pre-moves. So difficult with pre-moves. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Kota. You played so well. Kota has built up an amazing attack. If it wasn't for the time factor, Kota was winning this game. So, chess-wise, this game was a masterpiece by White. Kota, playing with the white pieces, outplayed Nikons, but like on a million levels. This attack against the king, all the pins, bringing the pieces. Kota, you played amazing. Amazing. On Up to the point where black gave up the rook because black was so much in trouble. He didn't know what to do. And the only thing that happened was that we, we were running really low on time. It's 14 seconds in this position. And uh, that's why Kota ended up blundering pieces because it was almost as if pre-moving them basically so if it wasn't for the time factor if we had increment for instance Kota would have won the game with increment Vila here with the black pieces against Pranav Vila is an MVP he has been playing for team Anna forever from the beginning of time so he is he is a regular very strong MVP very strong uh, player MVP of the team tomato but I hope he will not mind that he has to upset his boss Alexandra <sighs> yeah I know Kota it's also very fast for me I am very bad at 3-0 so the time control we are playing with today I'm extremely bad at it almost as bad as bullet I'm slow without increment I can't play chess so if, if it was about my skills, I would have lost this match way before. So don't worry, really, don't worry about that. But now we need to focus on Vila's game. Vila with the black pieces here. Nicely placed horsey here. I think this horse is heading toward the C4 square. Also, Vila has a semi-open C file as it is in the Sicilian. And will try to attack on the queen side against the white king. But we can do this, we can do this. Bringing the rook to the c5. White is attacking on the king side. This is called when both players are carrying out a flank attack. Flank at so is, this is the center of the board, and the flanks are the king side and the queen side. We have castled king side, and we are being attacked on that flank. And our opponent castled to the opposite side of the board, and we are trying to attack on this side of the board, on the queen side. The only problem is that white has already opened up the h file, so white is faster. It's very, very significant, the speed of the attack when it comes to different flanks. So we want to be faster, but um, are we going to be faster? Depends. Is there... This is tricky, because white already has an open h file. Very powerful queen and rook battery on the h file. But we would need to give up... 
No, we can't give up our bishop because that will be mate. We can't trade that bishop. This is our best defender. We need this piece. We need that piece to shelter the king. So b5, I think, is a really strong move because Kota is threatening to... Kota, <laughs> from the previous game. Now, Vila is threatening to attack the horsey. And when the horsey goes, then there can be attacks against this king. So that's a very good idea. Very good idea. It's getting hot in here. Um, our bishop is a crucial defender. That, that's the one piece that's... that's saving us from checkmate for now just wrong with the king possibly a good idea joe the thing is it's not so easy to run i'm just looking at it because once we run here there will be a check coming from here but we can do this we can do this villa is very strong fast and he he's gonna defend this position i i know he can i know he can it's it's looking very scary um this is hanging now and if the rook takes it a king who is very, very vulnerable. But now, let's see. Hmm. Oh man, 35 seconds left. Vila, hurry up. Yeah, that's that's a good good move. Protecting the pawn. Very nice, very nice. Um, we are still in a very dangerous situation. Light is doing very well. This is a strong attack. But I have faith in Mila. Okay, now this is hanging. There's not there's not many moves that can protect the bishop. Rook to g8 indeed. Um tough position and not much time. But let's see, let's see. Nineteen seconds, Vila. Vila, you've got this. You've got this, Vila. You can do it. You can do it. Let's see those swindling skills. Let's see. Let's see how you can swindle your opponent. Alex is really good at teaching that. Alex is really good at that. I know you know how to do it, Villa. I know you can. We are down to 17 seconds and the king is exposed. Uh, it's very tough. This position is really tough, but there can be miracles. I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles and we are just setting up a trap. I like it. We need traps. We need traps because this, that's the only thing that can save us here. We need some traps. The position is lost objectively. And the, the opponent also even moves the rook away. I like rook takes c3. Just going for going for something very direct. Because there could be maybe a perpetual check. Oh, bishop takes. Rook takes was also possible. Oh no. Five seconds left and that queen is gone. Oh no. Oh no. Vila. Vila is such an MVP and he fought so well, but the opponent. Actually, I, I need to congratulate Prana for the superb attack that he launched on the king's side. Prana played this game very well. It's not that Vila didn't play a good game i don't think villa made any big mistakes it was white's attack that came so quickly that black didn't have time to prepare for his attack on the queen side and this king side launched with the h file opened an f5 pranav played really well this this was very well played unfortunately for us this was this was a really good game by pranav villa you you did so well fighting for your life you almost you almost swindled your way out of the game next up is dashing tango against 25 11 25 11 the winner of the second yeast can invitational 25 11 eric what are you doing on the wrong team eric what are you doing on the wrong team i i know you're a fan of alex too but you're the winner of the second yeast can invitational Oh no, now we need to root against Eric. This is going to be tough. We need to we need to root against Eric with the black pieces here cuz dashing tango is representing the tomatoes, not Eric. Oh. This is tough. This is tough. Yeast can is hanging. I can understand. Well, dashing tango will, will do the job. This is this is nicely played the opening stage. I do like white's position here. Very nice. Uh, are we lower rated? I, actually, I'm not even going to look at it because I know we can still do it. We can still tie the score. We can still do it. 
we can still do it because dashing tango has a nice position 2511 is a good player but now he's on the wrong team so we cannot root for eric we cannot root for eric nicely done horsey d5 this is a very nice position for white i think dashing tango is playing amazing playing very well i'm not sure about the trade but now with the queen coming in this is still a really powerful attack trading here is a good idea because the pawn will be hanging okay um 25 11 made a really strong move now the pawn is dropping on e5 and then yeah without that pawn our position is not really strong we are a pawn down and we lost our initiative but it's okay this can still be swindle time Our team is over 550 rating points below theirs. Really, Joe? We can do this. We can do this. We're gonna we're gonna swindle our way back into having a chance in this game. Because it's just a pawn. A pawn is not the end of the world. White is more active and black cannot trade rooks here. So actually white, regardless of the pawn down, is doing alright. It's it's not the best of positions after our bishop is being chased away. But we do have our chances for having more active pieces. So we, c we can do this. We can do this. <sighs> we can do this. Counterattack. Now the knight is hanging. Uh, nicely done. That's a really nice move, I think. Dashing tango. I like it. I like it. We can do this. We can make a comeback. About even the time. And now we keep our bishop on d5. Very good job. I just hope we will not step into anything that we shouldn't. This knight fork would have been unpleasant, but I like this move a lot. Pawn is hanging, this is hanging too. We can do this. I think white is winning back the pawn, because now two turks are hanging and you cannot protect two at the same time. Like, oh, how are you doing? Um, we are playing sub battles today against Alex, as usual. Normally we are leading with like five points at this stage, but today we are pretending that they have a chance that's all we do today but we have won the pawn back so this is now equal material but we have a bishop versus a horsey which in this position i think is an is an advantage because there's play on both flanks bishops are long range pieces while horses are slow short range piece so this should be a better end game for white and we also have more time we are doing very well we can do this. The only thing about horses is that they are tricky pieces, but I think now we are the ones setting up a trick. I wonder, okay, 25 and is good, but th this is a really good trick. I'm not going to show it on the board until a move is played, but dashing tango is playing really well. And Eric doesn't know. Yeah, he was spending quite a lot of time. This is a very tricky move, threatening to give a check to the king and then pick up the rook. This is a, a discovered attack that was the threat and also the knight, which is trapped. Wait a second, it was two in two in one. This trick, the, this trick and the knight is trapped. We, we, are, we are winning the horsey. The horsey has been taken, piece up, piece up for dashing tango and the current position is this. Whoa, ladies and gentlemen. Turg and Yeast can are about to lead our team to a bounce back win which okay i'm not gonna shout win just yet but we are a piece up and have more time eric is, will be fighting i know 25 11 he's a fighter but this position is winning for white dashing tango has been playing extremely well extremely well we can do this we're gonna win this we're gonna win this is Alex afraid of yeast can is the current fall? Of course she is. Of course she is. We can do this. We can do this. Dashing tango. Peace up. Powerful moves. Check. Just picked up a pawn on a6 and now goes to make sure that this Turk does not promote. We should make sure that that does not promote and this picks up the rook. It's game over. It's game over. The rook is gone. We are a, a rook and the bishop. Dashing tango MVP. <laughs> Dashing tango. Dashing Tango. Very good job. Dashing Tango, you played this game so well. I think out of the opening, White White was doing really well. But then Eric got his chance back when he took on F3. So that was that was a moment for Black to make a comeback. 
into the game but even then i think we had compensation because of the more active pieces you played so well the end game you played so well the end game dashing tango rook f5 i think is a brilliant move brilliant and just the rest of the idea of picking up the pawn and then how you handle the end game trapping the knight on e2 this was a masterpiece a master class on end games dashing tango hats off to you hats off nicely done <sighs> The final game. Joe with the black pieces. But we can do this. We can do this. He's got this. I know he, I know he has. He's got the entire community behind him. And Joe is a really strong player. Supported by the tomato community and turtles. We can do this. We can do this. Look at the flares. Joe with the Anna flare. 2008 king with the Alex flare. The actual battle. But. We can do it. We can do it. Come on. Final game. Final game. Final game. Support Joe. This is the final game. We need to come back. We need to make a comeback. This is a known opening in the scotch. It's named after Scotland, not the drink. Um, or maybe both. Maybe both. But in any case, Joe is playing very well and very fast, which is important. Some issues with this pin. So taking on d5, I think, was necessary. Our music has died, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna try to resuscitate the music. Actually, it's still on, but I can't hear it. Strange. In any case, this is the final game, guys. We need to win this game to tie the score. We need to win this game. We can do it. I have faith in Joe. Horsey is nicely placed on e5. That's a strong piece. And we managed to make this pin less problematic the knight on d5 was attacking the horsey that was that was a bit of a trouble for black now we're trying to chase that bishop away and knight g6 very nicely done horsey attacking the bishop to make sure that the pin will not exist very good job very good job that's the strategy the right strategy played by joe um chasing the bishop away making sure that his king is safe because now the knight is free and it will not be not will it will not be the target of white and the counterattack horsey jumping to e4 attacking the bishop potentially trading that uh, horsey for the bishop i think our music died but i don't mind i i don't mind Let, let's i'm just gonna focus fully on the game let's go joe is the current poll indeed let's go joe and please vote in the please vote please vote in the poll you gotta choose the right the right option you gotta choose the right option and we can do this joe has a bit more time and now is developing the queen as well this is a very tense game i'm nervous um but i think joe is not because joe is fully supported by the community and his turtles and he's a strong player he's a strong player even if his rating is lower he's a really strong player he's a really strong player he can do this so um that pawn was hanging and now look at this very good the Joe was about to launch an attack on the queen side. White stopped it by blocking the pawn. But now Horsey comes to the center. Good move. And c6 to attack the bishop. Trade. I think Joe is playing really well. Joe is playing extremely well this game. It's a very complex position. Now trading the Horsey for the bishop. Whew. Having more time is so important. Because sometimes Joe in in earlier sub battles not not the recent ones had um time lots of time pressure just like i do i still do but joe has improved so much he has he has managed to speed up to such an extent where now you see he has more time than his opponent he has more time and there's no increment there's no increment okay this is i think well, I'm not going to say it. I will wait for Joe to play. Yes, uh, he can defend this pawn and then this is hanging. We are winning that pawn on a4, I believe. Nicely done, Joe. Very nicely done. This is such a good game. Very well played by Joe. <sighs> Very well played. <laughs> Joe is in it. Yes, he is in it. He can do it. He has more time, better position. The opponent doesn't know what to do. The opponent is higher rated, but we don't care. We don't care. Okay, that knight is now blocking our way from the pawn we can't take it we can either trade here or attack the knight i like this move a lot chases the knight away and then the pawn will fall our pawn is hanging too so we will need to see if, if we trade it or not but c5 is a great move queen f5 tricky so now white wants us to trade the queens 
which is okay as well. It's okay too. We just need to keep our time advantage too because now it's going down to the final seconds. 45 seconds for Joe, 33 for 2008 King. Joe, quick decision, quick decision. It's okay. Queen trade is fine too. It's okay. We just need to play quick. We need quick moves. We need quick moves. 30 seconds for both players. Horses are tricky, so that's the only thing that horsey jumps can be tricky, but I think Joe is better. Joe is doing very well here. We can go in here with the rook. G5, yeah, activating the king. Very well played, very well played. <sighs> very well played. Yes, those pawn pushes. Very good, very good job. Um, maybe G4 was a bit uh, too early, but it's okay. Um, we can still we can still save this. The bishop is hanging. We come back. Yeah. Yes. Oh, the pawn was hanging. Was not taken. There's no time. There's no time. The rook end game. We can do this. We can do this somehow. Oh, I'm getting nervous here. We can do this. We can swindle our way. We have more time. We have more time and the pawns have been won. Pawns have been won. Yes, 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 Joe. Joe is doing so well. Oh my god, this is a draw end game. This is a draw end game. Almost did it. Joe almost did it. He almost flecked his opponent, but he's too nice to do it. Joe is too nice to flag his opponent in this pawn end game. Because the thing is, this pawn end game is a draw. And it's a draw because it's a theoretical draw. You cannot win it unless your opponent doesn't know how to make a draw. But 2008 King played well, so it's a draw. I think someone who would want to go for the dirty flag would play just many random primos with the king and not give up the pawn. But Joe is too nice to do that. And I fully approve of that. I wouldn't have done that myself. I wouldn't have gone for the dirty flag in that way. I'm really proud of every single tomato who played on the team. We we deserved more points from the games we had because you guys played some amazing chess, amazing chess. But in the end, the result is five and a half, four and a half in favor of team Botez, which means that I will need to roast her. That's painful. That's painful. So <laughs> I don't know if Alex is ready for that. I need to think, I need to think. <sighs> I see her smiling. <laughs> I see Alex smiling. <laughs> Hello, Miss Botes. Congratulations to your team. Well, well done. I'm not looking forward to the next part of the show, though. That's gonna be that's gonna be rough. I'll need a moment to think about what can I even say. It, this is just gonna be so difficult. And uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna take any of it personally. I know you're forced into the situation. <laughs> And you are the most wholesome and nice person. And you have just done so much to build up my confidence in general as mm -hmm. a friend that nothing you say will change that. And I will take it 100% as entertainment. So you have nothing, nothing to worry about. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm excited to see what you come <laughs> up with. Alexandra Bot has winning some battles with 550 rating points above. Really, Alex, this is the way you go because we won like 20 times before. But you still owe us an apology for you scan because he's such an adorable thing. And you ate your own bird, haven't you, lady? Yeah, she go fly she go flies away. Yeah, where are the feathers? Um Alex, 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 Alex. And by the way, that Andrea is so damn hilarious way funnier so much fitter and you know what she's got the same job as you without a stanford degree i know i'm not rhyming but just dropping all these rows from the chat because i'm really bad at saying anything bad about one of my best friends i miss you girl but i need to tell you that sometimes you do get a mess out of your room um maybe you should tidy up a little bit just a little bit and also your hair is not symmetrical i don't know how that fits into the whole picture but ludwig took your job at the pop chips commentary he doesn't even know how to play chess but he nailed it he's just really good at everything he does i hope that you will be back with more of the pop chips by the way we will miss you because look at all these variety streamers taking away your full-time money making field that was terrible <laughs> 
That was amazing. You you 10 out of 10 in that performance. Oh, it feels so bad. It's just like eyes and the microphone. <laughs> oh my.